Technology continues to make personal banking easier. Those marble buildings of the 20th century with ornate pillars and high ceilings offered customers a feeling of safety and security. But they're giving way to smaller branches with sleek designs. By 2014, more than half of smartphone owners with a bank account were using mobile banking. Benina Nair is here with how the industry is branching out to keep you coming back in. Benita, good morning. Good morning. The rise of services like Apple Pay and Google Wallet have made banking easier for those of us on the go. In an age when you can transfer funds with the fingerprint, how do you keep that personal relationship between a customer and a teller? Well, we found some banks that are tackling that topic with innovative solutions. Now, hands to your hips. A yoga class is hardly an unusual sight in San Francisco. So look at your belly and round your back a lot. <clears throat> but this class is different. It's taking place in Umqua Bank. Some of their branches offer family entertainment. Some have ice cream trucks. This is normal for a bank, right? Okay. In more than 300 <laughs> locations on the West Coast. Okay. Close up shop. <laughs> the enticing free services Thank you for Bank of America. Thank are part of a banking revolution. One thing we've known, uh, and we do know, is that pretty much in all places, people expect to see banks. For centuries, banks have been both an expectation and a necessity. With the evolution of online banking, companies have had to rethink their brick and mortar strategy. It's very futuristic looking. It's um, well, Star Trek in the bank branch. Right. But, uh... <laughs> Jonathan Larson, the global head of retail banking for Citi, showed us their first smart branch in the U.S. There are already more than 300 across the globe. We worked with um, a design firm that had actually helped Steve Jobs build the Apple stores. And we were most intrigued by, you know, the way Apple had changed the whole way a retail interaction happened. And we said, well, what, what could the analogy be for banking? The change was driven in part by the numbers. Of the 83 million Americans between 18 and 34, nearly 75 percent visit bank branches once a month or less. Bank of America found that 62 percent of their consumers using their mobile app access it at least a few times a week. Within the banking industry, is there some fear that there could be a phase out of banks down the road? Look, I don't think we're worried about a phase out of banks. With the millennial who doesn't go anywhere near a bank branch, that indeed is a big part of what the future is going to look like. But there's going to be a time when you're a millennial when you do need to buy a Manhattan co-op, for example, and you're going to need advice. But 20-year-olds like Jen Wind aren't thinking that far in advance. She hasn't been to a bank to cash a check in three years. When she owes a friend money, she uses the app Venmo. It transfers payments between smartphones. I use it even just for $3 for gas or something. Someone drives and I'll Venmo them $3. It's just so easy. But not everyone wants to change the traditional experience. Unlike his daughter, Jen's dad, Greg, doesn't even own an ATM card. I think that when you go up to a teller and you ask for money, it's a very personal experience and it's a very tangible experience. And I also like the human aspect of doing business. The new smart branches by City are about an eighth the size of the former banks. I think some people might think when they see this, okay, so there's a smaller footprint and there's fewer actual tellers. Will there be any change for us in terms of what we pay? As the proposition moves to digital, uh, clearly our marginal cost is reducing. And there will be opportunities to share uh, the value that's created uh, with, that, with consumers. Major U.S. banks are also partnering with tech companies to make entering a bank easier. Citibank is currently testing out new technology that would enable their customers to enter a branch with an eye scan. The location here in New York was also piloting something that would allow you to enter just with your Apple Watch. So instead of pulling out your card, you could just walk by and it would let you know and you could swipe to enter. I like that idea. It's a very good idea. I'm with Jen's dad. I still like walking in and talking to people. Mm -hmm. I kind of do, too. Yeah, I do. I really like that. Yeah. Thank you, Benita. <laughs> Does that surprise you? <laughs> no. No, no, but and, and to find like out that it. they still like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true, too. I like it when they like you at the bank.